We're working on some electronic control boxes for a remote control application. We needed a special size box with holes in specific locations for some of the controls and switches. So we designed a box using our CAD program and then we sent that design to Shapeways to be printed. But it cost $75 to be printed. Ouch! So Composimold makes 3D printing quite a bit more affordable. Instead of three boxes for $225, we printed one and then we made our own. Our cost for the resin, since we already had the reusable mold making material, was about $4. This is how we duplicated the box with Composimold. First, we made a mold box using several layers of aluminum foil. We did this for the cover and for the box. We then sprayed this with a vegetable oil for a mold release. We used a spam spray. You can also use mineral oil. We placed the electronic control box into the mold box. And to keep it from floating, we poured some composite mold onto the control box and let it solidify before filling up the rest. We poured the composite mold while it was relatively cool, but still liquid to reduce the bubble formation. We let this first composite mold cool before we poured on the other part of the composite mold. Those two layers of composite mold will attach together unless you put a mold release in between them. We used a screwdriver to pull away any bubbles on the surface of the control box. We then put the mold in the freezer to cool. The large part took about an hour to cool. The lid mold was solidified in about 20 minutes. After pulling away the aluminum foil mold box, the top edge of the cover was found to be a little too low. So we added a little more composite mold by brushing it on with a stir stick. This saved us from having to remake the entire mold. This is also a very nice advantage of the composite mold, the reusability and the flexibility. And here is the cover for the electronic control box. And we did the same thing for the electronic control box. Because of the holes in the electronic control box sides, we actually had to cut the composite mold slightly to make it come out of the box like this. We used a urethane resin, our protocast urethane resin, available at our store. We also added a little bit of micro balloons to reduce cost and to make the box a little lighter weight. After the resin was cured, we removed the casting from the mold. First we did the lid and then we did the electronic control box. To make the electronic control box easier to remove from the mold, we split the mold into the inside part and the outside part and to make it into a two-part mold. And our duplicated box is complete. We made two duplicates. To complete the electronic control box, we re-drilled the holes on the bottom and we sanded the bottoms and tops slightly. Here is the electric control box in completed form with the electronics inside.
this was supposed to be an image of the duplicate in the original, but both of these are the duplicate, and I did not realize that when I was taking the picture. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please ask info at composimold.com and visit our website, composimold.com, for a free informational book on how to make molds with composimold.